yeah. You have now changed that after, I mean, is it because you've met Dana that you've changed this slogan now? Yeah, well, it's because I finally understand what love is. Chasing after those temporary pleasurable feelings that you feel, uh, that's not love. That is simply chasing after those pleasurable feelings. And that's what I was doing, right? I would meet a beautiful girl for the first time. She likes me. I feel that high because I got validated by her. But it's never enough because after that validation, I want more of that feeling. So I just keep on in that sort of infinite loop, chasing after that greed um, because of this desire and this lack that I felt deep within. So I was never happy. And I, I never can be if I continue down that path. It's and, like a uh, gas tank with a hole in it, right? And you're just pouring gas into it, but there's a hole in the gas tank and it just goes out. Doesn't matter how much you fill up, right? Yeah, and, and perhaps that's why people look at uh, the website and they are critical of it because you know, I see a lot of members who, who go on this co constant chase because they say they're chasing what they claim is love when in reality, it's, it's the need for validation. Um, but at the end of the day, I've come to realize that if I had not gone at that, on that chase, I wouldn't have reached the point where I was unhappy and then found her. So without seeking arrangement and the journey with seeking arrangement, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today. Do you see like trends on the website? Like for instance, like, you know, I, the definition of wealth, well, that can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. You know, someone could grow up like very upper middle class and say, I mean, $250,000, that's not wealth. Someone that makes that, you know, Beyonce, that's wealth. Or, you know, other, do you see people like holding themselves out as the wealthy ones, whether it's an older woman or man or, and I don't know, like this, the definition of wealth to me is like, do you see that? Like that people either misrepresent that or it's just like a sliding scale of a definition? Uh, there's a huge difference in, in wealth. And especially nowadays where a lot of people like to fake it till they make it. So it's also really difficult to tell. You look at Instagram, and there's a lot of people flashing a lot of stuff <laughs> when they don't really actually has, have wealth. In fact, the people who flash probably feel the most insecure deep inside about the wealth that they actually have. Yeah. yeah, totally. I would agree with that. Do you see trends too, as far as like ages on the website? You know, like now, you know, you could be a TikTok star at like 20 and have, you know, millions. So like, do you see it's not just age? It's like, I just have a lot of money and I'm 23 and I want what yes, I want. I, we definitely see a lot of younger um, uh, people joining under the wealthy category and successful category, especially in the last five to 10 years. Wow. Yeah. And then what about like, I mean, cause you don't really control it. Like people can have whatever conversations they want. Like it could turn transactional. Like I know that's not the goal of the website. Well, actually we, I have spent, uh, you know, my organization has spent uh, millions on uh, new artificial intelligence technology, uh, at least to decipher what people say. And if they sort of fall within that under our guidelines, then, then they are flagged and they're reviewed. So we do take it seriously. It's, 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 it's one thing to just say, hey, we don't want this kind of behavior. It's another thing to actually make sure that we can en enable a platform that doesn't uh, allow that sort of thing to happen. Right. And you yeah. see like there's a trend upward, like the site just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's getting bigger. Uh, and the difference now is obviously in the past when people were, were to search for the word sugar daddy or sugar baby, then seeking arrangement would come up first. Nowadays, we're no longer bidding on those key terms. Uh, we no longer show up on, on the top spot when you search sugar daddy or sugar baby because we, we have moved away from that branding. In fact, we no longer allow people who call themselves sugar daddy or sugar babies to, to join the website in that sense. Um, we see even more people signing up, which is, which is sort of odd. Wow. Yeah. And I know you changed the name from seeking arrangement to seeking like, is that because of Dana or it just because it all kind of seemed to happen at the same time to me around the same time. It, it is a transformation of the website that represents sort of my own journey, right? Um, because I was chasing after all those egotistical desires that I had, um, I felt like the website needed to represent something more romantic. I mean, I told him when I went on the site, it, I mean, like, it's a great site. It just, it, it looks like a man created it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just looks very functional, you know? So I was like, 
you should do like some of this, some of that, you know, like add some color, some flavor to it. So I don't, I think you actually changed seeking before I was like with you, but like as for the actual design of the website, yeah, I feel like that started when we were together. And it's almost like Dana is the stylist, right? <laughs> she, she, she really knows how to market this because she's a part of a sorority. She understands how people her age think. And she's like, you know what? Yeah, a lot of girls are sugar babies, but they're doing it secretly. It's kind of shady. You know, nobody likes that image. And, 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 and let's get do away with that. Let's, let's do dating up instead, you know? Let's make it classy. Let's make it something acceptable. But of course, as young people, we know that as people, we know that resources are important in this reality. Like, of course, if you have money, you get a great life. Nothing to be ashamed about, you know, when, when it comes to money, but call it dating up something that's very positive. I like, I know, and I, I, I know you guys use that term now. I think it's great. Well, I was going to say, you know, like, right, like Dana, I mean, have you, are you getting involved in the family business? Like it is like you have this wealth of, you know, like people your age and like you're going to school for economics. Like you might know a lot of people that could go to the website and end up, I mean, like you're living proof that it works. Like you guys are happy. Yeah, I, I mean, right now I'm focused on finishing school. Um, so I, like, I still have a job. I still have school. Like I, my life never changed when Brandon came in it. it. He just like was added like a typical relationship, right? Like I didn't quit my job and quit school. Like absolutely not. If you know me, that's the opposite of what I would do. Um, so I'm not involved. I would say like, if he brings like a style to me, I'm like, no or yeah you know I'm usually very direct with what I like and don't like I'm like that's not gonna fly or yeah that's really good so I like help in that regard but rather than that um as for now I don't know about once I graduate um like I, I you know I'd be happy to help he has some other businesses too that I think are really cool as well so uh, I would love to help with some of those eventually I love it well, you know, we talked about your other phrase, you know, that love is a concept invented by poor people. Now you say love is the answer. I mean, that is obviously because of Dana. Yeah. Well, lo love is the answer. It's, it's really difficult to understand what love is because when I ask my, my employees and my friends that question, when I ask them, what is love? And I told them to think about it last Christmas. I got answers all over the map. Like nobody has a very concise definition of what love is. That's kind of cool. It's cool because each person, their experience, they say what love is in their eyes a little differently. So I, I actually liked it. I thought it gave me a lot more perspective on like what people in their position think it is. But we need to start focusing on love, you know, instead of on pleasure, on money, on those other kinds of things that we chase for no good reasons. But because love is at the end of the day, the answer. That's what everybody wants, right? But, uh, but they sort of like, I, I was looking for love in all the wrong 